Hi, I'm Marvin Madelson. I'm an instructor at the school in the fine art and the illustration department. I teach foundation painting, portrait painting, figure painting, and an illustration portfolio class. So prior to about two and a half weeks ago, I knew nothing about live streaming. Uh, this is all new to me. So thinking about what I was going to do, a big part of what I do when I teach is I do live uh, demos and I explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it. And I think uh, explaining concepts and seeing the visual is the best way for students to learn. So it was important to me to come up with a solution where I could demonstrate and do everything just remotely. So the first thing I realized was just using the laptop camera was highly inadequate because it just couldn't follow what I did or everything would have to be so uh, wide, such a wide angle that nobody would able to see anything. So uh, I did a lot of research and tried different things and came up with a solution of getting a PTZ camera, which stands for pan, tilt, and zoom, which works remotely. So I have a second camera here set up and you can see this is my PTZ camera. So it can uh, change its position and zoom in just pressing a button on a remote control. So here I am close up and uh, back to my normal position or this is my starting position. And then when I demonstrate, um, just coming back here, and this is the painting that I'm working on for my portrait class. So this is the second stage. It still has another stage to go. So here I can take and I can uh, paint and people can see the detail and uh, they can watch and follow actually much more closely than when I'm teaching because of the size of the room and the size of the, the number of students, they're pretty much back. So it's important, uh, it's very good that now they can come and they can see what I'm doing. Now, when I'm painting, if I want, and I'm working on a close up or on a detail, then I can set the camera up so it's gonna zoom in on the face and uh, can follow my strokes more clearly so the students can see it. Uh, then the next thing, uh, if, for example, I'm working on the neck uh, or the shoulder, I can move the camera like so. But the important thing is mixing color. That's uh, the critical uh, aspect of my teaching of painting. So in order for that to happen, what I've done is I've created this uh, little system here. So the problem is when I paint and I have a handheld palette, which is what I normally do, there's no way to have the camera track that. So I had to come up with a way of dealing with that. So I created this uh, kind of stationary thing. It's hard to see, so I'm just showing you a little bit of reflection. This is a, a steel plate, and down here there's an arm that connects it to my table. And what I can do is I can take my palette and uh, on the back of the palette, I have this uh, little wooden block with magnets on it and little clips. So this just clips on to this plate here. And so when I'm mixing color, uh, I can explain what I'm doing and my students can see everything very precisely. Then when I'm done demonstrating or days I'm not demonstrating, this just comes off very easily and I put it away and then we can just come back to uh, another position. So what I want to do now is show you uh, my setup. So I'm going to use this uh, from, my, from my phone and um, so I'm just going to show you how I have things uh, set up here. So this is uh, my laptop. And um, uh, over to the right, I built this little thing, uh, this little platform, and this is the remote. So this uh, doesn't move. Um, first couple of times I tried this, I kept losing it. Then over here, I have a, a Wacom tablet and a pen, and up here I have a monitor. So on the monitor, I'm able to uh, 
uh, talk to my students about their work. I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a second. And last but not least, this is my PTZ camera. And um, I also built this uh, platform because my studio is small and I really didn't have the floor space for a tripod. So it's nice and secure up there. And now I'll be leaving this and coming back here to show you how I would be doing my um, my editing or my uh, commenting and giving feedback. So I'm just coming down to share the screen here. And here you see, this is my desktop. So on here, I have um, uh, all of these different uh, sub drives, each one for a different class, and then uh, several uh, within each category. I have three, or in this case, three. Every week I add a new folder so the students upload their images so I can talk about them. And they, if they're working from, if they're doing something representational, then they uh, load the reference along with the painting. Some are just working on sketches for things. It just depends on what they're doing. And um, over here, uh, when I'm talking to each student, I can blow the images up. And so I have my screen split in this case so that I can have their reference photo as well as their photo. And in the case of this, uh, I decided or I told the student that uh, she needed to make the shadow darker. So then what I do is I bring it into Photoshop and you can see in Photoshop, I'm able to make adjustments uh, in a number of ways. Uh, here it was a selection and then I was able to uh, show her what I was talking about so she could actually see and um, that's, basically how I use Zoom. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, it's very good for critique and feedback. And again, on the other screen, I can monitor the students on my laptop. Hope you enjoyed that. Be safe, uh, practice social distancing, wash hands a lot, and hopefully we get back to normal and get to be in the classroom again. Take care.